This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS principles course. Let's see what we're doing. Variables and arithmetic expressions. A common thing to want to do is store the result of arithmetic expressions or arithmetic expressions. The base arithmetic operations plus minus multiply and divide are available. Misconception alert. When you have a statement like result is equal to 5 plus 7, that's always going to be 12, realize that this does not store uh, the mathematical expression in the variable. Yep, the only thing the computer would put into result is 12. It does not put 5 plus 7, right? It calculates this and result is equal to 12 and that's it. Rather, with this instruction, you are asking the computer, yep, and then store one number, yep, goal. The goal here is to mostly acquaint yourself with typing, typing arithmetic expressions. The answers to the questions below are less important and should be used as interesting things to investigate. We've given you some starting code with five statements, similar to ones in the table above. Add council log or write statements to display the values of the variables. Experiment with arithmetic expressions. Try to make really big and really small numbers. Yep. Uh, we definitely want to be familiar with this type of thing. Using multiplication, what's the biggest number you can store in a variable? How many digits are in the biggest number before it starts, before it starts using scientific notation? Okay. Well, down here, we're going to use a write statement and my text will be, I'm just going to put mult in here. All right. And let's see, seven, Nine seven eight blah, 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 times da da. Let's see what that says. Ooh, that's pretty large. Can it go larger? Ah, so here we're hitting scientific notation. Okay, I'm gonna have to make my life easier. Go nine eight seven six five four three two one, and then I'm just gonna command C, command B, and then reset it. Okay, so it can do, how many is this? Well, we know that's nine. So that's nine digits times nine digits. That's fine. Well, then let's start back up here. Nine, eight. Nine, eight. Oop, and we hit scientific notation. So let me get rid of the eight. So this would be 10 digits. So it looks like 10 digit multiplication is the cutoff. Well, kind of, depending on what it equals. Let's see how many digits we got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it looks like 20 digits are the cutoff. Using subtraction or multiplication, so what's the biggest number you can store in a variable? Well, if you can use scientific notation, it looks like you could store a really big number. If you need exact precision, it looks like we would have to go with 20 digits, under 20, 20 digits or less. Using subtraction or multiplication with negative numbers, what's the lowest number you can store? Low means negative with lots of digits. Okay, well, here, let's just put a negative in front of this because it says subtraction or multiplication. Oh, it looks like it's going to be the same maybe, but in reverse. Well, I guess that would make sense. Using parentheses makes a crazy big arithmetic expression. Note, commode arithmetic expression. Composing arithmetic expressions is much easier in text mode. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. It's actually almost unreadable in block. Yep, and we can continue messing with this, right? So if I wanted to make sure that my divide was being put out here, I'm using div as the variable, so now I can get that result. Uh, parentheses are super useful because they let you keep track kind of of what's going on. For this, obviously, it's necessary because you want to, they're asking to add all these things before the division. But yeah, math is critical in computer science for keeping track of, I mean, everything from lives in video games to clocks to smoke detection systems and uh, fire alarms. So it's pretty important that we get the basics of this down. Otherwise, it's hard to do the fun stuff. Anyways, cool. All right, let's keep going. Oh, wait, I guess I should. 
I'm going to put these statements because I feel guilty if I don't. Let's go ahead and print out add and write out some. But uh, awesome. Onward.